process the misalignment, get into alignment, and take action. It's a small pause in the middle of your process that changes everything. It will radically change the game. It'll change everything. Hi, I'm Jason Drees. Welcome to the Do the Impossible podcast. Don't forget to go to mondaymindsetreset.com to get your unique invite to my weekly mindset upgrade call. Every Monday at 10 a.m., I am uplifting and aligning people's mindsets. It's a free call. MondayMindsetReset.com. So today, let's talk about getting out of reaction. What does that mean, getting out of reaction? How many of you have had an emotional reaction? Have you had an emotional reaction lately about work? Have you had an emotional reaction lately about money? Oh my goodness, I've been out of control the past two days, right? We have reactions all the time. And we have been operating our lives for a long time. Reaction, action, reaction, action. We see our world. We have a reaction and then we take action moving forward. That's how human beings are programmed to work. Reaction, action. But what I want to tell you right now is we now have the opportunity to break free from this pattern. This is where I started to discover frame shifting, where I discovered that we're operating at a higher level of consciousness in the world right now. Like, haven't you noticed that the world is different and that your personal growth is is accelerating. Like life is way different than it was 10 years ago. And for those of you close to my age, well, I'm not that old, I'm 49, you know, in the 80s and 90s, you could like take that personal growth and you could stuff it in the closet and ignore it for years. Now you can't because life's different now. But what's different now is we have the ability to move beyond that action reaction pattern right? That action reaction pattern. We have the ability to operate beyond that. We have the ability to move differently now because what happens is the way human nature is, is you wake up, you look at your life, look at your bank account, look at your, your job, you take a reaction and you start taking action. But how often are you taking action from a balanced point of view And how often are you taking action from a place of misalignment or emotional reaction? Because that's the nature, right? There's this reaction. And what actually happens is you wake up and something happened. Maybe you had a deal going wrong or you had a financial problem or a relationship or a fight. Like if you're in a relationship and you have a fight with your partner and you are angry and upset going, oh my God, I can't believe they did that. If you respond in that moment, is that the best time? Are you the most clear headed? Are you gonna create the best response? Or do you need to cool off first, right? So that you can get to get over the argument, calm down, get rebalanced, recentered, and then have a conversation. If you're in a relationship or had relationships, which you probably have if you're human, you understand what that's like. The same thing happens with work. The same thing happens with money. The same thing happens in business. Ever wonder why you keep repeating the same thing over and over again? Ever wonder why some people do the same thing over and over again or never make more money year after year after year? The business or job never changes because they're not doing anything differently. What happens to a lot of people is they get into a pattern where they see something in their life they don't want. Oh my God, I'm struggling financially. I'll use that right now because... In early February, the economy is doing some interesting things, and it's a common thing people come to me because I specialize in entrepreneur financial mindset. So people will come to me and say, Jason, I'm struggling financially, and I'm in scarcity. And they're basically having a reaction to the present moment in their reality. The thing is, the amount of money that your business has in this moment isn't because of what you did right now. The amount of money that your business has in this moment today is based on what you did in the past because money is a process. The action you took or did not take in the past led to the money that's in your account right now. So action you take right now, especially when it comes to making money, usually won't show up. The results of that won't show up until the future because we take action, something happened, there's exchange and somebody gives you money. That's how life works. But what happens so many times with so many people I see this over and over again. They're in a situation, they don't like it, something's not working. They're having a negative emotional reaction to business not working and not having money and it's really hard. Not enough deals, not enough leads. 
So they're basically in this state, emotional reaction. Oh my God, this doesn't work. So then they start taking action. Like I got to make it work because it's not working. And then they're like, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. And you're literally aligning with the same limited result and you repeat it over and over and over again because that's what reaction action does. You react to the situation. Oh my God, I don't have enough leads in my business right now. Not enough new opportunity, not enough deals. So I'm having a negative emotional reaction. And now that I'm in a negative emotional reaction, the frequency of my being, the frame of me, the mindset of me shifts to that reaction because you or body is made, your body is made of atoms just like mine is. So the frequency of you becomes a negative reaction. And it's basically saying, I don't have money. I don't have the leads. I don't have the deals. That's what's happening. Your reaction to this present moment. Does that make sense? This present moment, I don't have it. I'm responding. I don't have it. I am now vibrating my frequency, my thought patterns of me in an attraction-based reality saying, I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it. And then when you start to take action, nothing happens and you repeat the same thing over and over and over again. Who has been there? I've been there. And who's been there for, for a period of time? Like who spent years in that cycle? I have before I figured it out. The way out of this cycle is to break the pattern of reaction to action. What does that mean? That means, oh my God, my bank account, my business is not where it needs to be. I don't have enough deals. Oh my God, it's, it's competitive. Stuff isn't working, the economy, blah, 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 blah. There's a reaction. Now, instead of taking immediate action, what you need to do is stop. You need to process the reaction, the frustration, the sadness, whatever the emotion is, you sit there. Like you need to cool off, just like in an argument, you need to cool off, call off. Okay, oh, I don't have enough deals. My business cash flows down, whatever it is, economy. Okay, have the reaction, need to cool off. All right, I'm cooled off. Where am I going? I am in alignment with more deals coming in. I am in alignment with finding more opportunities. I am in alignment because I know I'm not gonna stop until I get it. There are deals out there. I'm one phone call, one email away from a new deal. So I'm gonna break that pattern of reaction to action. So, so we, instead of going reaction, out of alignment, action, we go reaction, process the misalignment, get into alignment, and take action. It's a small pause in the middle of your process that changes everything. It will radically change the game. It'll change everything because you have the ability to create whatever results you want, whatever reality you want. But all you have to do to make that happen is to stop responding negatively and stop reacting to the reality that you don't want because the human pattern is, oh my God, I don't want this freak out, blah, 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 blah. We have to stop the reaction. So if you can stop reacting to the reality you don't want and align yourself with the reality that you do, then you can easily create the most amazing life opportunities. But processing those reactions is challenging. In a fast-paced world, we move quickly. It's very easy to get thrown off, especially by recurring problems that you consistently react to. And whether it's a management issue or dealing with employees or a relationship or your physical health or money or business or whatever it is, the recurring ones are the ones that usually throw us off. And when we get thrown off so many times, we get frustrated, we get angry, we did, and really get our focus up and we get, we're going to fight it. We end up pushing harder out of alignment, pushing out of alignment with the resistance. Because when you're out of alignment, there's no action you can take. If you are not pointed at the target, it does not matter how much action and what, how many days a week and what time in the morning you wake up. If, it doesn't matter if you take a cold shower. If you're pointed in the wrong direction, you will never, ever, ever hit the target. So repeat after me. I take full ownership of my life and everything in it. I understand the truth. I cannot hit the target unless I'm aimed at the target. The best way to get aimed at the target is to align with the target. I believe this 100%. There's a little repeat after me for you, a little mindset shift. 
The key is learning to interrupt those patterns. How? However you can. A note on your paper, a sticky note, a reminder. Schedule it in your day three times a day. Hey, where am I in reaction? Getting out of reaction is the fastest way to get into alignment. Getting into alignment is the fastest way to create success. Does that make sense? You can do this. Your potential is unlimited. You just need to get out of your own way and point in the right direction. So did that help? Are you starting to understand where you've been in alignment, where you've been out of alignment, where you're in reaction? Process that reaction, learn. And if you want help, if you want help to make it happen, go to freeintrosession.com. My team will walk you through a goal setting process. I call the do the impossible goal setting process to make sure you're aimed at the right target. Until our next episode, when we continue this evolution and this dive into the understanding of human greatness, I'm Jason Drees with Jason Drees Coaching. I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.